today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite discoveries since going vegan and that's my cashew sour cream recipe. I've been wanting to share this recipe for quite a while. I know a few of you have been asking about it because I show it in my vlogs a lot because I feel like I put this on everything because it's so good. But I basically tried a lot of sour cream recipes before I came across this one. And this is the most comparable that I've found to regular sour cream. So if you're looking to eat more plant-based or you're looking to reduce the amount of dairy that you have, I think that truly anyone will love this. It's, it's so good and it's so simple to make. So for this recipe, you're going to need a little bit of salt, uh, one and one fourth cups of water, depending on how thick or thin you like your sour cream. Um, one and a half cups of cashews. These are raw, unsalted, and they've been soaked overnight. One probiotic capsule, which I use this Renew Life Ultimate Flora that I found in the refrigerated section at Whole Foods. And then I have a mason jar, which I will be culturing the sour cream in. And today I'm using the small canister of my Vitamix. I do think that you need a high speed blender for this recipe to really blend those cashews up to get that really smooth creamy consistency and I really am not sure if this would work if you do not have a high speed blender but I suppose it's worth a try. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strain my cashews and kind of rinse them off. Just kind of get any of that gunk off of them. So here we go. Just strain those off. The cashews absorbed water and they're a nice like fluffy sprouted cashew and they'll be a lot easier to blend that way that's the reason why you want to soak them is because it just makes the sour cream even more creamy if you don't have the time to soak them overnight you can pour boiling water over them and let them soak for an hour that's kind of like a quick way to do it and I have tried it that way and I don't notice any kind of difference in my sour cream but if I have the time I usually like to soak them overnight now I'm gonna add to my blender my cashews and my one and one quarter cups of water. sour cream in a super smooth consistency and there's no chunks of cashews left you are done blending and you can go ahead and add your probiotic capsule and blend again and what I do when I blend again with the probiotic capsule is I do it the very least amount of time as I can just to kind of like pulse it for a second just to get it mixed through because you don't want to over mix because then you might destroy your probiotics is all ready to be cultured in the jar with the lid on we're gonna do the last step and the last step is what takes the longest but it really just takes some patience and that is actually culturing it in the oven now you don't actually turn your oven on you just turn the oven light on and basically what that does is it kind of just activates those probiotics to kind of eat all the sugar in the cashews it's like science and it turns it into sour uh, cashew sour cream <laughs> Once that's in the oven to culture, I like to give myself a little reminder not to put my oven on because that would be really bad if you just like baked your cashew sour cream at 350. So I write a little sticky note and I plug it right on my oven to remind me not to turn it on. All right guys, so just for the sake of time, I have some already cultured sour cream that's cultured and been refrigerated and I'm going to show you the end result, which is the perfect sour cream and if you can see, this is how thick it ends up being and that's kind of the consistency that Justin and I like. If you want it to be thicker, you can add less water, thinner, then you can add more water. But basically after it's done culturing, you'll see a lot of bubbles in your sour cream and that's normal. That's just the little um, probiotics working and working their magic basically. Once you stir it up, there's no more bubbles and it's just completely smooth, good sour cream. And I'm going to give you guys a close up of this. Tastes so good, make a grown man cry, sweet cherry. 
gonna take a little taste of it even though I've already tasted this batch before. And I know it's perfect. Don't judge me. <laughs> it literally tastes exactly like sour cream. Like I, you guys have to try it, it's so good. We use this for so many different things. I put it on everything from tofu scramble to nachos, tachos. I hope you guys try out this recipe and really like it and let me know if you do. And also let me know below in the comments if you wanna see more uh, recipe videos like this because I I do YouTube because I love vlogging, but I also am very passionate about cooking and just like sharing recipes. So I would love your feedback, whether you guys want to see more videos like this. And until next time, we'll see you in our next vlog, guys. Bye. Dip an apple in sour cream. No, you can't do that. It's yuck.